2024 Ford Mustang GT First Look Review, The Quintessential Mustang It's late in 2022, and Ford announces an all-new muscle car with a V8 engine and a manual gearbox. Don't take this moment for granted because it won't last forever. The GT once again sits above the base EcoBoost model as part of the all-new 7th generation Ford Mustang lineup. The naturally aspirated Coyote V8 will make at least 480 horsepower, so lighting up the rear tires will be no problem, especially with its new electronic drift brake. The new Mustang GT sports evolutionary styling and a comprehensively redesigned digital cockpit, and it can be customized with an array of packages and individual options. A refreshing blend of old-school powertrain and new tech, it's the perfect update for the legendary nameplate. When is the Ford Mustang GT coming out? The release date for the Ford Mustang GT Coupe has been scheduled for summer of 2023. It'll be coming out just as its two chief rivals either ditch V8 power, Dodge Challenger, or are potentially being discontinued altogether, Chevrolet Camaro. 2024 Ford Mustang GT Price and Competition? At just over $38,000 for the current GT Fastback, the price of the Ford Mustang GT Coupe makes it one of the more affordable ways to get behind the wheel of a V8-powered sports car. We don't know what the new one is going to cost in the USA, but the starting price is expected to be in the region of $40,000 MSRP. Existing rivals include the Dodge Challenger R-T with its Hemi V8 that starts at just under $40,000, and the Chevy Camaro LT1, also with a V8, with a starting price of $36,100. Whether both of these rivals are still around in their current form by the time the 2024 Mustang GT Coupe gets here remains to be seen. New Ford Mustang GT Exterior and Colors The edges are sharper and the details made more aggressive, but the Ford Mustang GT Coupe exterior design is much more evolutionary than revolutionary. Ford wanted to retain links to older Mustangs which is why the upper grille's shape has been inspired by the one on the original 1960s model. In front, there are slim tri-bar LED headlights and a recognizable lighting signature, while the GT has bigger grille openings relative to the base EcoBoost model which we review separately. New hood vents and a different front splitter are also in place. Ford has optimized the roofline so that entry and exit while wearing a helmet isn't a chore, and this leads to the extended rear deck. The rear overhang has been shortened and the rear haunches are wider. On new Ford Mustang GT Coupe models, the wheels measure 18 inches in size but 19s and 20s are available as an option. Unlike the EcoBoost, the GT has a rear spoiler and quad exit tailpipes, giving it a much more aggressive stance from the back. Vapor blue and yellow splash are two new colors for the Ford Mustang GT Coupe but, in all, there are 11 to choose from. Creating a unique look doesn't begin and end here, of course. A bronze design series appearance package adds sinister bronze wheels with matching badges, and the performance pack gets its own wider rear wheels and tires with Brembo brake calipers. If you prefer your Coyote V8 wrapped in an even more aggressive body, consider the track-ready Mustang Dark Horse with extras like Pirelli P0 tires, brake cooling Naka ducts, and darkened exterior elements. We review it separately. Ford Mustang GT Dimensions in terms of dimensions for the new Ford Mustang GT, length has grown from 188.5 inches to 189.4 inches, and despite appearing wider, width stays the same at 75.4 inches without the mirrors. It stands slightly taller in height at 55 inches. All of this is stretched over a 107-inch wheelbase. Curb weight for the new gen model is the same as for the outgoing version, 3,730 pounds for the manual coupe and 3,752 pounds for the auto. Ford Mustang GT Engine and Performance Nestled in the Ford Mustang GT Coupe engine bay is an even more powerful version of the 5.0-liter naturally aspirated Coyote V8. While official specs aren't available yet, we know from the reveal event that the GT will make at least 480 horsepower, up from 450 horsepower previously. The current GT makes 420 lbft of torque, and figures for the updated version should be slightly higher. 
To the delight of purists everywhere, a 6-speed manual gearbox remains standard, but a 10-speed automatic transmission that adapts to the chosen driving mode will be available optionally. Those driving modes include normal, sport, slippery, drag, track, and another customizable setting with six profiles. Slippery mode will be an important safety net in a car sending almost 500 horses to the rear wheels in wet conditions. For the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint, the current Mustang GT needs only 4.3 seconds with the automatic and about half a second longer when shifting gears yourself. If the new car can maintain the necessary traction before it gets up to speed, it should be even quicker. With the manual, the new Mustang GT comes with a standard rev matching function that maintains engine RPM when engaging the clutch, helping to prevent a loss of torque during gear changes. There is also a new, segment-first electronic drift brake that aims to replicate the functionality of a conventional, mechanical handbrake. And, if you want to watch fans enjoy the sound of that V8 from a distance, you can remotely rev the Coyote V8 using the key fob. For the occasional track day, you'll want to spec the performance pack. This adds wider rear wheels and tires, a front tower brace, a torsion limited slip differential, and an optional Magnaride active suspension. Bigger Brembo brakes 15.3 inches in front and 13.9 inches at the back also form part of this package. For the GT specifically, this pack comes with brake ducts for better cooling and an auxiliary engine oil cooler. For most, the GT specified in this way will be the perfect muscle car with the ideal balance of power and poise, and not too much of anything. We have to look at current Mustang GT EPA ratings to get an idea of what to expect from the new one. With the automatic, the 2022 Mustang GT returns 15 24 19 MPG city highway combined, and that drops to 15 24 18 MPG with the manual. That's about the best one can ask for from a large capacity V8. Ford Mustang GT Interior and Cargo The interior of the Ford Mustang GT Coupe looks like a solid step up in both quality and technology. Whether the design itself is cohesive is another story, as there is quite a lot fighting for one's attention, but nothing more so than the dual digital displays. This fighter jet-inspired cockpit is designed around the driver, with the center display and console both angled for easier access. The 12.4-inch digital instrument cluster can be configured to flow into the new 13.2-inch central touchscreen interface running sync for software. Game-style graphics can be manipulated by simple swiping as the same Unreal Engine 3D creation tool used in modern video games has been implemented in Ford's interface. The flat-bottomed steering wheel design is new, and the seats in the Ford Mustang GT Coupe have leather inserts. Different upholstery perforations and accent stitching can be specified via the options menu, though, and Recaro front seats are available through the performance pack. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.